one of the greatest traditions in NFL history. It's the Thanksgiving Day Games kicking off today at 12.30. Sit back, relax, and enjoy my Thanksgiving special. We're going to talk about each of the Thanksgiving Games today. another video. My name is Kevin Simpson. Hope you're having a great day, because I am. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Whether or not you're sitting on the couch watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, maybe the Thanksgiving Parade just wrapped up, you're just chilling out, having a grand old time, eating some turkey. Whenever you're watching this video, Happy Thanksgiving. I really do enjoy this holiday, and um, I know you guys will too. Christmas decor is, I gotta, I gotta get it out of the closet, guys. Christmas decor is gonna be coming out soon. But before that, Again, Happy Thanksgiving. We're going to talk about some of the games that will be played this Thanksgiving. Three of them will be played. It's the greatest tradition in NFL history. It's one of the biggest traditions in NFL history. And the first game that will be on 1230 Eastern Time on the networks. Oh, when is the network? Does it not tell me? I believe it's CBS. The network is CBS. The Bears at the Lions. One of the greatest Thanksgiving Day traditions is watching the Lions get defeated. One of my greatest memories of the Lions Thanksgiving Day, I gotta say, one of my greatest memories of one of these games, Detroit Lions Thanksgiving Day game, is Aretha Franklin National Anthem that went like five minutes long. If you guys know what I'm talking about, drop a like on this video right now. Comment down below. Probably one of my favorite traditions. Rest in peace, Aretha. Really, really great National Anthem. It was like five minutes long. It was awesome. But I gotta say, I don't think the Lions got a chance. They do not have a chance in this game, I don't think. Did Fields just get hurt? Yes. Will he be back? As a recording, I think he's questionable. So, I don't know. Jared Goff, to return after being protected as limited participant. Remember, he was limited at practice on Monday. Justin Fields, he's questionable. Will he start or not? I mean... Matt Nagy, his job's on the line. There's a lot that kind of rides on this game, believe it or not. The Lions are terrible. They've only got a tie this season. The rest are all losses. They've yet to crawl out a win, even against the times they should have. Remember that field goal against the uh, Ravens when they had the game tied in a nod? They're ready to go, and Tucker throws the record, set in longest field goal. Yeah, they're cursed. They're a cursed team. They're a cursed organization. Right now, I think it could be the biggest ongoing curse. I Have they won a Super Bowl in their history? I don't know. But they're cursed. I don't know what else to say. They have no chance in this game. Fields, whether or not he is in or not, I think it's an easy Bears win. I think the game's not going to be a great game. I mean, isn't this kind of a... I think this is kind of a ri rivalry. A ri rive, rive, rivalry. 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 There it is. Rivalry. Between these two teams... Nevertheless, the Lions have a chance. I'll give them a chance. Do I give them a chance? No. Do I think it'll be? I think it'll be a low-scoring game. My pick for this one's the Bears. Uh Bears by Bears by ten in this one. Bears by ten. Could it be ten nothing? Yeah, probably. It could be. Our next one is on Fox set to four thirty. It's the Vegas Raiders in Dallas with the Cowboys. Great game. Great game. Cowboys are a great team. Great organization and have had a pretty decent season coming off of a rough game, I will say. I think they've snuck out the win, but still coming off of a, of, of a tough game. And there is, I don't know, Las Vegas has had an up and down season. You know, John Gruden getting, John Gruden getting fired earlier in the year. The Cowboys have just had Dak Prescott return this season. So it's been an up and down year for both teams. But with all that said, the Cowboys have been pretty decent this year. We gotta say, even though I kind of said that they're a fraud team, they've been decent this year. They've been consistent this year. The Raiders have been up and down. I mean, let's take a look at how their season has gone so far. The Raiders have a win against a loss, a win, 
a win against the Steelers, a win against the Ravens, a win against the Dolphins, a loss to the Chargers. The Bears beat them. They won against the Broncos. They won against the Eagles. The Giants beat them. The Chiefs beat them. The Bengals have beaten them. So they've beaten some decent teams. I do not put it past them. They could pull off a Thanksgiving Day miracle and beat the Cowboys. But I will say I picked the Cowboys by... Yeah, is it going to be high scoring? Cowboys by 10. I'll pick the Cowboys by 10 in this one. I think the Raiders can hold them to, to 10, but I, I think the Cowboys win. The night game is a good one. It's the Bills and the Saints. The Bills coming off of a, um, let's say, a crushing week. A crushing week. Um, and they are going to look for a rebound. They're going to come out swinging on Thanksgiving. Now, have they have enough time to prepare for the Saints? I don't know. Have the Saints have enough time to prepare for them? Probably. I mean, I think... The Bills are going to come out swinging with vengeance. They are going to want to win this game. And the Saints have been up and down team this year. Consistence at points, down on other points. They haven't really had showing playoff team. They haven't really had that showing of like, yeah, they're a team, they're a threat. They're someone you should be watching. I just don't think they've had it this season. Where the Bills have had... That moment where we, they're a playoff threat. We know they're a playoff threat. Have they had an off week last week? Yes. They should come out swinging this week. I mean, the Saints, I will give it to them that they are a decent team and will be able to show some competitive... They will be competitive against the Bills. Definitely will be competitive against the Bills. But in this one, I'm going to take the Bills by seven, by a touchdown, um, to win against the New Orleans Saints. Um, I just think they'll come out better than the Saints will. Will they be able to... Hold each other tight. Yeah, I think will be the best game of Thanksgiving will be the night one on NBC at 8.20 on Thanksgiving night. So hopefully you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy the turkey. Enjoy the stuffing. My favorite thing in Thanksgiving, I like the stuffing. What do you guys like? What's your favorite food? Drop in the comments down below. Enjoy the holiday. Enjoy the break, those of you that have one. And um, I will see you again tomorrow. Until the next one, my name is Cameron Simpson, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.